So if you're new to Mac you may not have yet played around with your Displays Preferences. So let's go to System Preferences. I'll access it through the Apple menu here. System Preferences. And I'll look at Displays. Now what you're going to see here depends upon which Mac you've got and also which screen is connected to it. So obviously if you're using a MacBook the screen is built in. Same thing with an iMac. But a Mac Mini and a Mac Pro are going to have external screens. And this is the case with me. So this is what I see. I see two options for display resolution. Default for display and scaled. So default for display is going to basically read what type of display it is and actually display things pixel for pixel exactly what the display expects. But you can choose a scaled amount as well and one of these other resolutions. The smaller the number the larger things are going to appear on the screen. So if you're having difficulty reading things on your screen, you're going to want to choose numbers here that are smaller. For instance, at 1024 by 640, things are going to appear huge on the screen. The menu bar at the top, text, and everything like that is going to appear very large. At the size 2560 times 1600, which is the native resolution for this particular display, then the pixels are going to match the screen exactly and things are going to be a lot smaller. So you can choose any one of these or stick with default for the display. So let's look now on a MacBook. Here's my MacBook Pro and you can see it looks a little bit different. Here I've got default for display just as before which will put the display at perfect resolution except that it's a retina display. So I'm actually going to get double the resolution on the display. It's not going to be super tiny. Uh, it's going to be normal size and you're going to get a nice well defined uh, characters and uh, really good resolution on images, things like that. It's the default for the display and it's what most people are going to use. But if you click Scaled then you have several different options here. And it shows you here kind of a little example of what it looks like. So I've got larger text and something in the middle, the default size, and I can even get more space. I can actually have everything be smaller. But it's useful if you're doing something where you have Windows or things like in Photoshop or something where you're taking up a lot of space for all the windows. You also have a brightness control here in Displays on MacBooks because they can detect the brightness in the room and adjust the brightness automatically as well as allowing you to basically drag this back and forth. So what you're going to want to do when you see this, say with an iMac or a MacBook, is you're going to want to maybe play around with it. See which one you like better. Maybe you do have difficulty reading some of the text and menus and different options and apps you use and you want to use something like this size or all the way down to here. Uh, maybe default is fine for you or maybe you're doing things where you want the highest possible resolution as possible and you don't care about how small the text and things look. It's very easy just to go back in System Preferences at any time and change this. So try using one or the other and see what you like. Uh, don't feel bad about changing every once in a while depending upon how you're using your Mac. For instance, you may find that when using a MacBook sitting on your lap uh, while uh, traveling or uh, on the sofa or something like that, you like things to be larger text and maybe on a desk where there's you know, a good work environment you may want to go to the more space one as well. So you'll get each of these options here and you could just use the one that better suits your needs in general and at the specific time that you're using your Mac.